Hey guys, welcome in a new episode of Stevens Week. This week I'm filming from San Francisco. Enjoy the new show. Popular social network Musical.ly has been acquired by ByteDance, a Chinese company that is very strong in AI on their content platform. And as you know, Musical.ly is extremely popular with youngsters. It's like a lip sync social network. Uh, they've got about 60 million active users every month. And now they're sold to this Chinese company that wants to integrate their AI knowledge into this platform. Bill Gates invested in a new project, which should be the smartest city of the US. Uh, so he bought a piece of land in Arizona, about a uh, 15 minute drive, I think from Phoenix. And they want to create a smart city there with only driverless cars. They want to create the new schools, smart schools, make sure that the IoT is integrated into everything. There are no more details that are available about this idea, but if that city is available and when it's ready, we should all check it out and see what the future could look like. The last few weeks, there was uh, the financial season, the quarterly results, and I just want to focus a little bit on the tech giants. Uh, this week, Tencent came out with results, and they grew this quarter compared to the quarter of uh, the same quarter last year with 50%. And we're talking about the biggest uh, Chinese technology company. They grew their uh, revenues from six billion to nine billion. Uh, last week, there were the results of Facebook and Apple. Uh, Facebook went up with 50%. Apple, the biggest company in the world, their revenues went up with 12% and their profitability with more than 20%, which is almost untangible to, to imagine the amount of money that we're talking about. These are the biggest companies and they're growing at rocket pace. So you see that the dominance of those tech platforms is still increasing rapidly. Big news in the world of driverless cars, this time from Waymo, which is a division of Google Alphabet. And they've got driverless minivans. And the cool news is that they actually launched a driverless taxi service in Arizona, US. Uh, Uber has done this before, you can say, but the difference is that in those driverless Ubers, there was a human there to control the car in case something went wrong. Now in these Waimu driverless cars, there is no human uh, in the car. So it's really just the passengers and the car, and it's a taxi service, and they're testing it right now. And in a few more weeks, uh, actual customers can use them. So we can actually say now that driverless cars, fully autonomous cars are here, and they're active in Arizona, and they're based on Google technology. This is pretty cool news. Uh, Walmart is an interesting case study. I, I really appreciate how they're fighting back against Amazon, and they're doing a pretty good job in that, and they're leveraging their own strength. Now, um, th they made a decision that feels a little bit awkward maybe. What they've done is they increased the prices of their online shop. So it's cheaper to go to the stores of Walmart than to buy online. And the reason is that they want to integrate some, some budget and some margin for delivery and for returns, which I can understand. But knowing that Amazon doesn't do that, this could be, you know, a, a hard nut to crack for customers if they figure out that Walmart becomes more expensive than Amazon because of that. So I'm very curious to see how the market will react on this. Baidu came into the market of smart speakers this week. Um, as you know, Amazon Echo, Google Home, the Apple HomePod are extremely popular. Uh, but now Baidu is entering this market and uh, it's, it's really fun to see their designs. They look completely different than the, the ones that were made in the US. Uh, and they're even going a step further. They created a smart speaker that is actually a robot. Uh, it's not on the market yet, but they showed the details and it, it really looks like it's coming from a science fiction film. Uh, but these are smart speakers that do the same functionalities like Echo and Home. Um, but they can move around in the house and they will have different functionalities that will help people to fulfill some tasks in the house, which is pretty, pretty cool if you look at it. Last Saturday, it was Singles Day in China, and this is like the Chinese alternative Black, of Black Friday in the US. Uh, it's organized by Alibaba, and they broke their record. They actually sold for more than $25 billion on one day, $25 billion on their platform, which is 40% more than last year, and it's double the amount of two years ago. So it's enormous to see how much people are spending online on a day like this. And the large, large majority of all these purchases were done on mobile. Uh, the latest figures aren't available yet, or I didn't see them. But the first 10 billion, when those were sold, 97% of those items were purchased through a mobile device. So this is an e-commerce and a mobile first world. So this was my weekly update on marketing and technology. I hope you enjoyed it, and I see you again next week. Enjoy the weekend, my friends.